Hello everybody and welcome back <laughs> to Horizon Forbidden West where as you can see uh things aren't going so well. I just I just turned the game on and I was like I like turned it on and I like walked away to do something really quick and it loaded in and I turned around and all of a sudden uh, there's an angry guy right there and I was like what? So I like run over and I like slam like the you know whatever it is the options button or whatever it is that puts us into the pause menu right as I think he's about to do a takedown move on me um, and also there's this machine in the background and I saved after we killed everybody I know I did so I have, I have no idea what's going on <laughs> right now, and I'm just gonna have to like go with it, I guess. I don't know. No. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why are these? Why? Taking my shot. Why are these? Why are there two and two of those guys too? Two, there's only one of these. What is these like Ravager things? Yeah, a rebel ravager. There was only what in tarnation. I'm leaving. I, I finished this. Hang on, let's make sure. Yeah, complete. Why did these people just show up? And I saved over here by the campfire, and all of a sudden it's like, hey, who's gonna throw you in here? Like what? I'm just leaving. I'm out. Yeah, everybody run. I really need to get a claw strider. Dang it. But I can't keep being distracted. Yes, I can. That is the whole point of this game. What is this? Is this a viewpoint, maybe? I just want to... I just want to get what the unknown is. I don't want to interact with these birdies. What is it? I'm trying to dodge birds. Tell me what it is. Up yeah, now. well, hang on. We just gotta figure out what this is. Vi was it a vista? Yeah, it was. Okay. Figures. Run! Anyway, I saw a really epic. Somebody in my Discord the other day posted a super, super cool looking armor set. They were trying to show off. Oh, because apparently, um,. Aloy got pride paint, I think. And they were showing off Aloy's pride paint, and I was like, yo, I want to. I want a pride paint. But then I was looking at the armor, and I was like, oh ho ho, that's some really cool armor. Apparently, though, you have to get arena points or whatever. It entered an amplified damage state. Which one of you does the amplified damage state? Shock ammo is not much use against that. Unless it's one of the birdies behind me. Is angry. I was hoping I could maybe loot some of these behemoths, but it doesn't look like it. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, apparently you have to like win arena fights or something. I, I think it was the ones where like, yeah, you got it. It's not like the Hunter's Lodge things. It's the arena stuff, which I'm like absolutely don't care and I don't want to do them at all who angry but now there's apparently a super sick super sick armor attached to it and I'm like oh man but this person recommended that you gotta go down sounds like someone's in trouble. you go down to easy for them this can't be Oh, that's that's her. All right, let's go look at her really quick. Can I not? Since we're here, the officer on my met said alone. someone in their crew ran off in this direction. I should keep my eyes yeah. open. I think she's gonna need some backup. Oh, you're in an amplified damage state. Holy, holy moly, look at that. Oh, 
not gonna back down. Uh, am I gonna get involved in this? I can really use some help here. Ow, ow, ow. Holy. I was gonna try to set up some traps. Damn, no, don't notice me. Don't notice me, senpai. Okay. Spike snouts. Weak versus fire and purge water. I do happen to have some fire traps. This is going really well, honestly. Do you see me? Yeah, what's the... Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't know how you did that. Come on, come over here. No, 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 come on through. You want to do it. You know you, do you, know you want to. That one just went off, I think, on its own. Look at all these. I should make sure she's okay. Yeah, we should. But first, ow, 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 ow! I was trying to. Oh my gosh. Scorpio. Oh, <laughs> did some animals die too? Poor animals. Okie dokie, Smokey. What's this? Blast paste. Love that stuff. Oh. Supply drop. Oh. Yes. It's still working. She's got one of those things that can play black boxes? Maybe? Why, the spike is still intact. Rig's still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go. Oh, okay. There's nothing to see here. So this rig of yours, it's receiving sound through that wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment. And you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? Because I've been doing this a long time. I've learned a few things yeah. in my travels. My soda was really good today. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can Of help. all people, Aloy's the one who's trying to force conversation here. You do seem downright knowledgeable. So go ahead. Shoot. Okay. You're no ordinary tinker. Mm. Didn't used to be a tinker at all. More of a metal worker. Came from Mainspring. I can weld a seam so fine you could barely see it. Not that I ever got any credit for it. You see, up there, you've got to be a man to get ahead. Mm. I once had a shot at joining a first-rate crew, one of the best forges in the claim. But I didn't get the job. 
My own brother wouldn't vouch for me just because I'm of the female persuasion. Anyhow, at least out here I don't have to worry about any mainspring men talking down to me. Oh, that's why she punched that guy. Also, uh, <laughs> no wonder, I don't know. That's the, that's the thing about the Osram, is of everybody, it doesn't make sense for the Osram to be sexist. Like, they're all, they're all, uh, every single Osram, they have, they're the only ones, I'm pretty sure, in the game with, like, a distinct body build. They're all very thick set. You know, you can kind of tell an Osram from a distance just because their body mesh is bigger. You know, and they're all, they're all, as far as I can tell, they're all working in the forge, you know? Like, they're all metal workers, essentially, or tinkerers or something. And, like, like the Karja, like, it makes sense and something not sense, you know, air quotes sense. Because, like, I don't know, they're fancy highfalutin and a lot of times in, like, societies like that, like, they will start, like, gender segregating, you know? But, like, in ones where, like, your whole society is built around everybody working in the forge... And the women being just as tough as the men. Like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, the Nora, the Nora are actually matriarchal, but they're still egalitarian. Like, the matriarchs lead, but, like, men have as much input as anybody else does, you know, in, like, day-to-day -day things, you know? Um, who is it? The Tanakhs seem very egalitarian. Doesn't matter, man or woman. Doesn't, doesn't matter at all. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty sure I've heard the Karja, I think the Karja have made some noise on the same level, but mostly I think it's more of a nobility thing. I think it's less about, a little less about gender. I think this gender still plays a factor into it, but they're more like, well, no, I don't want my Karja noble daughter working in an Osterum forge. That's so beneath her, you know, type thing. Um... But they still did, like, they wouldn't, they didn't let women into the Hunter's Lodge, you know? But they also didn't let anybody who wasn't, you know, a male Karja noble into there. Anyway, it's just, of, of everybody, I did not expect it from the Osram. Did not expect it from the Osram. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Sounds like you're still mad at well, your Well, yeah. Some days I am. Other days, I miss him. He's passed on. That makes it complicated. He didn't have the guts to go against the blast of the bellows and vouch for a lady. Even his own sister. It was cowardly. And I told him so. In fact, I told him we weren't family no more. But over time, I've had cause to regret it. He wasn't. A bad sort. He knew how to make me smile. When he wasn't being such a lout. I'm sorry he's gone. Yeah. So am I. <sighs> Blast it all. It makes things harder when the person that you're upset with is passed on. It makes things infinitely more complicated, right? You're like, you don't want to be like having bad thoughts about the dead, but you're like, no, legitimately, that was, like, really not good of you. But you're like, but it's complicated, you know? Your rig's impressive. How does it work? Well, like you said, the spike up there seems to capture the sound. It travels by wire down to my contraption. I, I put some coils in there and a light sheet of metal that vibrates, making the sound louder. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it just does. <laughs> and you set it up out here all alone? I'm not the trusting type. Pretty much everything I do is all alone. We're going to be friends now. You're my new friend. <laughs> and Aloy's being really super nice to her, honestly. How did you first hear the message? I used to be a smith up in the claim. Wasn't an easy life. A lot of hard work without much to show for it. Then, one day, I heard a whisper coming from a steel rod. Faint, like the last fingers of steam coming off a cooling forge. 
When I moved the rod around, the whispers got louder. I did some tinkering, built my rig, and did my best to follow that sound. Further west I came, the stronger it got. Then I found that spike up there. When I hooked up my rig, the words were clearer than ever. What do you think the message is? I don't know. There's something sad about it. Feels like it's from one lost soul to another. She would be drawn to that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd sure like to know what it means. From one lost soul to another to another. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. Not. They're not. But I am, in a way. Be right back. Also, I 100% look to not. Oh, okay, then. I guess. I'm wearing only to not. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. And then please, just don't break anything. Listen, I know, I understand. I know how the game works. My rig is very tiny, and I didn't make it. <laughs> this is this is more interesting than I thought. I thought it was gonna be just very, I don't know, boring. But Aloy really likes her. I think she's another she's another lone lone wolf, you know. And so there's a camaraderie there. We're climbing. Even lone wolves want to have you know a comrade like them. Oh, nice. No, please. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I think I hit like another. <sighs> Gotta give her credit. Lugging all that wire up a cliff wall. Ooh, what's this? What? What is it over there? What's this purple stuff? Go. Oh. No. Okay. This is fine too. I love it. I just. Ooh, oh, I see, I see. I love that I just find stuff. Randomly. Mm. Oh, what's that? Hold on. <laughs> I should go sell some valuables at this point. I think I have a decent amount of valuables to sell. Oh, there's a spike. Might get better reception if I'm next to it. Oh. Seem to get a fix on where the signal's coming from, though. Well, better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. Can I? She's like, please don't break anything, and I'm like, okay. This ought to be a good shortcut. Pew 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 pew. Is this the wire she lugged up? Because it does not look like wire. <laughs> Looks like rope. Unless the wire's on the ground and I can't see it. It's dark. Your rig is picking up an old world message. A recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during... A, a war. A bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh, I still can't get a fix on the source. Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. What if you moved the rig now? Try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. 
Even if I could dodge the Tanakh and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message, then let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller, the better. And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Hmm. Uh, well, there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind, near a place I'm... Uh, camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Oh my gosh, this is the most chemistry she's had with anybody. Soga. And when you find it, Aloy, I'd be eager to hear what it is. This is the most chemistry she's had with anybody in this whole game. <laughs> and that's including, <laughs> like, um, freaking Varl and Erend. Just two little lonely souls with people they miss, you know, hiding in their back pockets, essentially. <sighs> Maybe someday I will get to Decca. Is this easy? So I will have to cut it off there. The episode was about 40 minutes long, split exactly down the middle between two quests. So here's the first one, obviously, that I really, really enjoyed. And I, I, I enjoy it more as it goes on. Uh, so I hope you guys do too. But really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but especially Rich Kalita, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons, Christopher and Adam. Christopher, thank you so, so much for your support. Your comments are awesome and I really do appreciate them. Um, I will be answering more of them hopefully during this off session uh, not just yours but comments in general obviously but um and i want to say thank you to adam my other tree tier patron thank you so so much for your support over the years i really have appreciated it a lot uh so there you go thank you all again for watching and i hope to see you in the next one